Hey guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super manga review. Today we're going to go over, be going over chapter 59, Activate Ultra Instinct Sign. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go through the panels, describe what's going on, some of my inputs and thoughts about it, and what I think of the chapters so far. So I'm going to be adding little images of the panels, not every single one, but you'll see images come up on the panels uh, throughout the video. Fortunately, I cannot show you guys the whole thing because of uh, copyright infringement and things like that. So it'll be taken, my video will be taken down, unfortunately. So if you want to see the whole thing, it's, I'm going to have a description in the, uh, this, uh, I'm going to have a link in, it in the description below. I'm um, going to viz.com. They provide the whole panel. So make sure you do that within the next few weeks because I know they it goes away. So let's start off here. The first panel we see is a busted up 7-3 um, and his little sidekick. They're all beaten up from uh, the fight with Gohan and Piccolo. They're up on, I guess, Kami. No, they're, at, they're actually not Kami Tower, but they're actually on their spaceship. And he's saying, oh, look, uh, Goku has arrived. And all their, get, all their guys are getting beat up and sent back to jail with the Galactic Patrol. Next panel is a nice shot of Goku with Ultra Instinct. Piccolo's like, oh, he can, it looks like he can activate it now. They're, they're like, wow, uh, this is uh, activated at will. So um, it looks like Moro and Goku are going about ready to fight. So Moro is surprised that he can activate Technique of the Gods, and Goku's, let's just, let's do this, man. Let's get it on. And Moro agrees, and they're about ready to fight. So Piccolo comments that this is the fight that is, uh, decides the fate of the entire universe. It's about to go down. And there's a lot of action scenes um, throughout these panels. So I'm going to try to describe the action for you a little bit. So Goku's ready to get throw. Goku actually throws a punch, and Jacko explains he, he's f um, throwing flurries, flurry of punches, to Moro's, um, and uh, it looks like um, he's standing still, just chucking punches in 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 the air, and it's it's making contact with Moro. Moro's not really, you know, he's like kind of taking them, blocking a little bit of them. Jacko explains that they're just air punches. That this is basically Goku punching the air and Moro is, <laughs> is getting caught in these blasts. So, um, and Moro obviously has had enough of this and kind of raises his hand in the air and blows up the ground or underneath Goku. So obviously Goku dodges it. This is Ultra Instinct sign we're talking about. This is a very agility, fast technique that is made to dodge blast and, and, uh, and other hit techniques. So, looks like Moro is firing key blast at Goku. Goku uh, dodges him easily, and now he's heading straight to Moro as the as he dodges the key blast. Moro is surprised by this. Obviously, he's he's concerned. He blocks uh, Goku's punch. Goku kind of like does his little Ultra Instinct move behind him. And he's he's just going in. He's not he's not fooling around with Moro right now. I, Goku's not. He's totally serious about ending this guy's career. But Moro he he catches the block from behind. So um, you know Moro's still in this fight, and he realized that this technique uh, this heightens the in, uh, agility of Goku. So his ideal he's gonna take away. Goku's mobility. So he does some crazy magic uh, move that kind of binds Goku um, on the hands and the feet. And Goku's kind of floating in air. I guess it's like an ener energy kind of contraption, like energy trap that uh, Goku is now binded in air by his feet and hands. So um, Moro gives him a kick, and Goku's kind of pissed off. He's like, Tch. You know, this is, like, annoying. So it looks like he neutralizes, gets rid of uh, that energy trap by Moros. Doesn't seem to have a problem getting rid of it. And uh, 
So Goku's like, well, that was your magic. And he's like, Moros is only, that was one of many. So we're going to see a bunch of techniques by Moros here. So this is going to be very interesting. So now it cuts the panel of Fujita and, uh, on planet Yadrat. And he's like, looks like, Kak looks like Moros have made a move. And he's fighting, looks like Kakarot. And it goes right back to the Moros Goku fight. Bunch of, so it looks like Moros is putting out, kind of like Kefla did in the turn of power, doing these zap moves here by just powering up and zapping everywhere. So Goku dodges it easily. Um, looks like Sen Senbago, I think that's, if I remember his name, Senbago, it looks like his his corpse gets uh, caught in the blast of Moro and it, it evaporates. So it looks like Goku doesn't care. He's dead anyway. Piccolo and Gohan and Jacko are kind of chill in the background. Goku's like, yo, you guys need to back off. Gohan's like, don't worry about the Earth, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know why. He says they have the Dragon Balls if things get out of hand. Okay, whatever. Kind of a weird thing for him to say, but whatever. Um, what else we got here? So Goku and Piccolo fly off there. Goku starts powering up the com the Kamehameha wave. He's charging Moro, and he's powering up the Kamehameha wave. And uh, he's about to f he's about to do the ha, and he turns around. Not where Moro is, Moro is, but um, he flips around and goes the complete different direction. So he notices that Moro, the guy who was standing there waiting for him, was just an afterimage. And he fires at the real Moro, which is behind him. So it looks like Moro blocks it. And he's like, you saw through my illusion. And Goku's like, I've seen that trick before. So they're doing a little power struggle here. Goku, Gohan, I'm sorry, Gohan and Piccolo and Jacko go back to 18 and 17. They talk a little bit. So Goku can't, or I'm sorry, Piccolo can't read Goku's uh, chi because of his uh, Ultra Instinct ability technique power of the power of the God. So Moros is Moro is surprised that that Goku vanished after he looks like he's pulling a freeze at really Goku. He's given up on the command command mail wave. And now he's he's just fighting Moro hand-to-hand -hand combat. A lot of action in these scenes. A lot of cool action. A lot of neat art. And I'll try, like I said, I'll try to put put up some of the panels in the video, as you can see, probably right now. It's a lot of fighting, which is good. This is how we, this is what we live for Dragon Ball: the fighting. So, going back. Goku just keeps on whipping this boy's ass, though, right now. It looks like Goku is having the upper hand, to be honest. So, Mor Moro pulls out some sort of control energy where he f froze Goku for a second, but Goku still keeps charging. Goku is now throwing these air blast punches once again at Moro. And it looks like Moro is taking him. Not look, look, not like he's suffering all, like a whole lot of damage. So they keep getting closer to each other, and they get real close to each other, and they both uppercut each other. Well, Moro uppercuts Goku in a nice shot here. It's a very cool looking shot, and Goku kind of, kind of straight jabs Moro in the chest and the gut. So they're both kind of in pain there. And they back off from each other. And Goku's holding his chest, so is Moro. And they go back and they charge at him. So Piccolo still says that, you know, Mor Moro still hasn't absorbed any energy, but Goku's clearly faster than Moro at this point. So then it goes back to the fighting. And it looks like Moro's is, or Moro is trying to, Absorb the energy now. He's trying to absorb Goku's energy. I think he's had enough after that gut punch. And but Goku just evaporates. He's like, he's he's using his speed, I guess, to avoid this stuff. 
And uh, he goes right behind Morrill and throws a punch at him. It looks like Morrill takes the punch purposely and grabs Goku's arm just to get a hold of him and flings him away. So Goku's pl- or I'm sorry, <laughs> Goku. Moro is playing a little bit of strategy. He's playing uh he's playing the smart game. So he knows he can't catch up to Goku at this point. So he's using a little bit of his brain and taking a little bit of a hit in order to grab Goku and fling him off into the distance. So I don't know if this is going to be his game plan from now on or what. We still don't know what's going on here. So, but it does look like Goku has the upper hand. Uh, Moros has got to have something up his sleeve here. So, it looks like he tries for energy absorption again. Goku's just too damn fast. And Piccolo even comments on his speed again, Goku's speed. He's too fast to, um, for Moro to dodge the, tomorrow for, to gain the energy absorption on Goku. So it looks like Piccolo and Gohan are cheering him on continuously. Fighting still happens. Goku's still whipping this poor boy's ass. It doesn't stop. <laughs> so another side kick to the gut by Goku to Moro. And he's, she's just getting wild up now in these scenes right here. He's just getting kicked, punched. <laughs> and yeah, he's just super strong in this form right now. He's just overwhelming Moro right now. Goku does say few. I don't know if he's getting tired. Now it zips back to um, Beerus' planet. Whis and uh, Mirus and Beerus are hanging out. Beerus is fishing. <laughs> After all what's going on, Beerus is fishing. He doesn't care. Um, so Whis goes in to say that Goku's doing a marvelous job. He's obviously, Mirus has cha- uh, trained Goku very well. Go, uh, now Beerus says something to Mirus. He's like, he spent a long time in the mortal realm. You know any tasty recipes? Now Beerus is my favorite character in the in the series. And that's all he has to say. He doesn't care about the fight at all. It's very strange. Very strange. <laughs> he's like, and of course Mirrors is like, nope. And he's like, what a waste of space. <laughs> Classic Beerus here. Yeah. Now he's not, he's just pissed that he just wants food. We still don't know Beerus' power level. We don't know. He just doesn't, he knows what he's, he's got to know what's going on. He does not seem concerned in this, in the, in the slightest, even when the early panels, he's like, yawn, so hungry. There's there's something with Beerus. There's something we don't know. Is he training off time? And he's just he's just that good of, of being ahead of everyone? I'm just not sure. So, he's continuously asking questions to Beerus. He asks if Goku mastered Ultra Instinct. Can we Can we expect to see it? And he's like, no, about that, Mirror says. So he looks worried. Something's going to happen to Goku. I don't know if he's going to keep this up. Um, Once it goes back to the fighting, Goku is, let's see here. Moros is like, what's wrong? You seem so eager to be done with this. So, yeah, Goku has been definitely hurrying up this battle. Looks like... uh, all right, so Marlos goes to explain that he's been hiding his full power. He's going like Frieza stuff style here. So Goku's like, oh, great, you know. So Marlos, Moro power, he powers up, and he has a big, huge power up here. Goku's pretty surprised. He goes on to say he's consumed endless of planets. He's got power to rival the gods. So it's like, and he fires a blast at Goku. Goku deflects it, but Moral, well, Moral's new speed and power, he goes, he zips right behind Goku, grabs and bear hugs him from behind, and it looks like he's starting to absorb his energy. So uh, that's that's bad. This is bad news for Goku. So Goku zips out of his Ultra Instinct form, 
Moro grabs him by the head, same thing like he did with 7-3, flings him all, all the way on the other side, now goes back to Beerus' planet, and uh, Wiss, Wiss says only the he's only achieved the sign level of Ultra Instinct. Mirus goes on to say he never managed to activate the true Ultra Instinct form, which is the mastered Ultra Instinct. So Wiss is saying that he doesn't bow well. Sign serves as a gateway to the Ultra Instinct, but it isn't stable. So maintaining it is going to be an issue. And Mirus agrees. He was aware of this. So basically, Goku has to manage his energy while keeping sign, alternating sign as long as possible. That's going to be pretty difficult. So I, so Moro, I think Moro looks like he's figured out that you know, he does, that Goku needs to finish his fight before Goku runs out of stamina, basically, for this alternating sign because it's too st it's still unstable for Goku, which is cool. The power scaling is still there. Goku's like, he realized that, he realizes that, Goku realizes that you already figured out my weakness, but he's like, but still. Goku, he's not even at full power apparently right now, <laughs> as I'm reading this, he's not at full power. So they're both powering up, he's going all the way out. Goku is going all the way out, Moros is like full power here, Goku's going to do full power as well. So now Moro, Moro is intrigued by this, and the chapter ends. So this was, this whole chapter was a basic throwdown. Goku looked like he was beating the crap out of Moro's the whole fight, and he was. But uh, near the end, Moro powers up and seems to have the upper hand on Goku. But now Goku powers up. And now maybe they're both even, even, but the chapter has ended, and we won't see the next one until May twentieth. So I was I was intrigued by this fight, uh, this chapter, because of most of the fighting. This is why we all watch Dragon Ball for the fighting, for the techniques and the new abilities that pop up, new forms, new. But this is more like of a technique. So this is cool. I'm. And I'm more intrigued on what Moro can do with his abilities and his magic abilities. And of course, we're all waiting for Vegeta to save the day. We want Vegeta to come in there and whip some ass and, and finally get a win. A legit, solid win on a, on a villain. So um, we're hoping to see that. But it's going to be interesting. We, we all hope it. We all think it's going to happen in some arcs, but it doesn't. <laughs> Goku... Either come save the day or Fujita and Goku finish out the villain together. So we would like to see Vegeta finish it out solo and get a win. So that's what I'm hoping to see. Overall, of course, I'm gonna. Of course, I like the chapter. It, it has had a lot of fighting. It was just. It wasn't a whole dialogue chapter. It, you have to. I'm gonna put a lot of. I'm try to get some fighting visuals up for you guys to see. Um, in the in this video here so you guys can understand what I'm talking about when I'm trying to explain this but I enjoyed the chapter and I'm going to see you guys on May 20th for the next time we uh, go over some Dragon Ball new Dragon Ball Super manga stuff alright hope you enjoyed this video see you on the next one adios